What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. This is your very first time here. So in my how to put yourself together video, I did mention a capsule wardrobe and I got so many requests for this video. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> if you guys watch my vlogs, you know that I do mix and match a lot of the same pieces in my wardrobe weekly. So I would say that I do have somewhat of a capsule wardrobe. If you do not know what a capsule wardrobe is, a capsule wardrobe is pretty much 30 to 40 pieces, except in this video, we're gonna go more for 20, 25 pieces that are all tailored to your personal style that you mix and match for the season to create a full wardrobe. Essentially, you're creating your own personal uniform because no matter what you choose, it all kind of fits your personal vibe. That way, it's a lot easier to get dressed in the morning when you already have the options to choose from and the variety to put different outfits together. Me, personally, I'm a very neutral girl, so everything is more of a neutral color I don't do a lot of prints because it's easier to match things that are not printed. This is pretty much some of the top staples in my personal wardrobe that if I had to choose to only wear for the season, this would be it. Before we get into the items, I wanted to just mention how important it is that your uniform for yourself fits who you are and or where you are going and makes you feel super confident. For me, over the years, as I've been kind of creating my own personal style, I've noticed that I go for things that make me feel empowered, make me feel comfortable, aren't too tight, don't make me feel uncomfortable in my body, make me feel confident. So it is my personal opinion that if you are creating a capsule wardrobe that every single piece makes you feel good personally. You know how you go to the mall and you go and you try on something and you like, mm, I don't like that, get me out of this dressing room ASAP. <laughs> because it might be too tight, it might be ill-fitting. You know, you just don't feel good, but then you try on something and you be like, I want every single piece in your wardrobe to be like, oh, you know, like that's the vibe that I personally go for when I'm choosing the pieces that I wear now. It used to be because it was a trend or, you know, because everybody's wearing this or because any other reason that don't make no sense. Like I now just want to feel comfortable in my own skin and my body and feel confident. I feel like this capsule wardrobe and just my wardrobe in general, I'm dressing for where I'm going versus where I am. And for me, that's really important because it gives me that overall mindset when I look in the mirror to say, there she is. And I wanna show up as that future and ideal version of Maya every single day in this how she dressed. Let's go ahead and hop into the pieces. Let me just say, this week I have not been feeling my best. I feel bloated from the holidays. I feel super like self-conscious and I was gonna put this off, but I was like, you know what? I had this planned for this week, so we just still gonna do it regardless of how I'm feeling. You gotta push through. <laughs> <laughs> those insecurities and I think it'll be I think it'll be fine I'm gonna show you all of my staple items that I have in my winter wardrobe and kind of why I chose each piece and then we'll just start to mix and match and throw some outfits together so the first item we're gonna start with is a turtleneck this turtleneck is from H&M and I do also have it in a different color but I feel like this is a staple for me because not only is it a neutral color and this one is a brown neutral color it pretty much goes with everything it's cold outside our neck is covered child you know it's got the hand detail here which is really really cute I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the outfits that I put together including a turtleneck so that you can kind of see the variety of different things that you can do with the turtleneck the next thing I have is a white t-shirt I feel like having a white t-shirt in your capsule wardrobe is super important because it's the perfect way to make something more casual but if you know that you want to have outfits that are more on the casual vibe always make sure that you have a white t-shirt. This is definitely a staple year round, not just the winter time. The next thing that I have is a white button down, y'all. If you follow me, then you know <laughs> that I will wear a white button down. You hear me? I will wear it. I feel like it is such a staple in your wardrobe. You can pair it with almost anything. It could be dressy, it could be casual. It could just be like an over, you know, shirt to, if you're a little cold or it's a little chilly. I love a good white button down. And throughout the video, you will notice y'all, I'm 
I'm a neutral girl, you know? And <laughs> I actually really love neutrals because number one, it's less likely for people to tell that you're wearing the same thing again for the second time in a week. <laughs> Also, it's a lot easier just to get dressed, you know? It's less, what is this gonna match with? What is this gonna match with? You know, you already know that things are gonna match. You just have to figure out the combination. Next, we have a sweater. This can be any color that you want, but for me, I like a nice white or a black or a brown sweater. That will match a lot of the other bottoms that I have, you know, a lot of the coats that I have. And of course, when it's cold outside, you wanna make sure that you have a sweater or something that is super warm and that's gonna keep you warm but still look super chic. The next top I have is more of a trendier type of vibe. Right now, like cutouts, bodysuits are very, very in. Usually I'm not a trend girl, but here and there if I find one that I do like, I do like to incorporate it a little bit. So I have this bodysuit from Naked Wardrobe, which for me has been a staple because it gives me a little bit of that trend, but I still have the neutral color. So, you know, it matches everything. It's long sleeve. So I would say for the average woman, it's just like a trendy neutral piece that you can throw in here and there to give a little pizzazz. Next, I just have a couple of accent pieces or things that I would say are not necessary for your capsule wardrobe but if you want some you know sprinkle a little a little extra in there here and there <laughs> this is what I would do a bodysuit that has a pattern and for me I like the animal print pattern and it's neutral so I really love this one it's from J Lux label because I can just throw it underneath you know a coat or you know it could be an all black outfit but this be the bodysuit underneath like a leather jacket you know it just adds a little bit extra to your neutral wardrobe and then this one is a vest you can just layer it with some other things and it's really 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 cute thing to have in your capsule but these two I would say are not necessary but if you need a little pizzazz in your life this is the way to go next I'm gonna talk about dresses I say for winter you should have at least one black dress now granted y'all this video is about my style so <laughs> you can take these tips you know to fit your own style to fit whatever you know your staple items would be but these are mine so i have two different options here this one is from pretty little thing and it's more of a streamlined dress i'm gonna throw up on the screen some outfits and ways that you can put this together to make them look somewhat different for the season but if you're not into something that's a little more you know form fitting i do have this sweater dress here which is from h m and it's a little more flowy it can be layered you know I feel like both of these are really good staples so it's like an either or depending on your style I would just say a black dress in general is super important to have for your wardrobe next I'm going to talk about bottoms first I have this satin skirt that I have on right now. If you remember in my solo date vlog last week, I did wear this skirt with a dress underneath, but I love this skirt. Okay, I love it. <laughs> this skirt in particular can be dressed down or dressed up and I like it because of the texture. It brings a different texture into the wardrobe and kind of gives more of that upper scale classier type of vibe. But you also could switch that out with a leather skirt. So depending on your vibe, I feel like it's either or. If you're more of a edgier type of chick, then you can do a leather skirt. If you're more of a classier type of chick, you can do the silk or the satin skirt. But they both will work perfectly and I would definitely go for black regardless of who you are. Next is my favorite pair of pants. If you watch me, you know I love these pants, child, and I don't even know why I don't have them in multiple colors. Like, these are from Zara, and they sell them in all the colors. I love how they are tailored, so they really fit the body well, and they accentuate your curves if you get a smaller size. I've seen a lot of women wear them where they're a little more baggy, which is okay too. Like I said, depends on you and your style. For me, they're more of a everyday, I'm looking chic, type of vibe and they can be dressed up they're less on the casual side which you guys know I I don't like to look casual a lot <laughs> I like to look like you know I try a little bit most of the time but um I I love these pants and they can be paired with so many different things in this capsule the next thing that I would say is good to have are a good pair of leather shorts depending on where you live if it is cooler outside you might not go for the shorts but if you live somewhere like for me st louis you know we still have some days that it's 60 degrees or you know 50 degrees where a leather short would be really really good we can go casual with it we can go dressy with it or we can go everyday chic with these shorts i also like the fact that they are not 
not form fitting. I love the fact that they flare out a little bit and they're not super tight to my butt. So it definitely gives a good balance. For the bottoms, the next thing I have are some mom jeans, y'all. And I say mom jeans because that to me, of course, is trending a little bit. You no, know, a lot of people aren't wearing a lot of the skinnier jeans anymore, which I will still wear a skinny jean. But <laughs> I'm just saying like right now, I feel like I'm definitely going more towards the baggier mom jean, straight jean type of thing. And of course we all know that you can dress up a jean, you can make it casual. And I'm just throwing up a few of the outfits that I did put the jeans with for mixing and matching that I kind of go for in my capsule. Next is an either or thing. It's always really good to have a black pant, I believe inside of your capsule wardrobe. Here I have some black leggings, which if you are gonna go for leggings or you'd like to wear leggings as pants, definitely get something that's nice and thick. My recommendation are the ones from Naked Wardrobe. They are super thick, they hold you in, and the quality is just really, really nice, but not super expensive. I also have this pant here, and it's kind of like a jogger because it's tighter at the bottom, so it depends on what your personal style is, but I feel like a black pant that's not a jean, that's not denim, is perfect for a capsule wardrobe. We obviously can match this with so many different things and go for so many different vibes. Next we have like jackets. So we all know that jackets are very in right now. This one is from Forever 21 and I'm gonna throw a couple of outfits on the screen wearing this jacket and kind of how I style it. I think this jacket is super super cute. I love the fact that it's long and it's oversized and it's in a beautiful brown neutral shade which matches a lot of other things in the capsule. Another thing that I love to layer is an oversized blazer. This one is from H&M and I got it in a size medium but it is already made to be oversized. I'm gonna throw this on a couple of outfits. You kind of can see how I would style this oversized blazer but I think it's perfect for someone like me in my style. I like to look effortlessly chic every day. Okay, most days. <laughs> I like to look chic, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like a blazer, especially an oversized one, is like top tier, the perfect thing to have. When you're going for layering, when it's cold outside, when you wanna look like something, but not look like you tried too hard, you know what I'm saying? This is one of those pieces, so it is a must for my capsule. And lastly, for like jackets, I would say is a leather jacket or a leather blazer. It depends <laughs> on the person, what you want, how you want to look, what's your style. But if you're someone who goes more for that effortlessly chic vibe, I would say a blazer. And this is a faux leather from Zara. But if you are someone who likes more of an edgier style, you're more of a casual chick, definitely go for a leather jacket. But it just adds a little bit of edge to your outfit. It kind of puts that extra, I'm stylish. You know, you have an all black fit, but you throw this on. And then it's like, oh, oh, you know, yeah. So real quick, I wanted to mention the shoes. Obviously you've been seeing three different pairs throughout the video. One is a black boot, depending on the person or if you don't like heels, it really depends on you, but I like a heel. It's kind of like a sock boot and kind of gives me more of that classier dress up vibe. Then I have a booty in a different color, which is white, which I don't always want to have on a black boot. So I like having, you know, a boot of a different color that kind of gives an accent, adds a little bit of a stylish, you know, look to an outfit. And lastly, I have my flat boots. Um, me in particular, I wanted to pair boots with everything because I love, <laughs> I love to wear a boot during the winter and the fall. <laughs> and me personally, I'm not so much of a tennis shoe wearer, so that's not necessarily in my wardrobe. And then when it's cold, I don't really go for loafers or anything. I usually will grab a boot. So that's my personal preference. Obviously you would pick any three, I would say three pairs of shoes that you really love and that you can mix and match with everything and that at least one of them can go for casual, can go for dressy, or go for everyday chic. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.